Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got a question from one of my subscribers. Itemize all the gametes produced by the individual parents and here is genotype of parent 1 and here is the genotype of the parent 2. So let's put P1 here and P2 here. So take a look. Each parent has following genes A, B, E, F, G, H. And uh, because organisms are diploid, so each individual, each parent here has two alleles for each gene for each locus. Whether it can be the same dominant alleles, the same recessive alleles, or it can be two different alleles which is dominant and recessive and uh, for example parent 1 would be heterozygous for the gene E. And now uh, let's list all the possible variants for the progeny, what uh, genotype the progeny might have um, and we are going to use fork line method in order to solve this problem. So take a look. A parent 1 is homozygous dominant for the gene A and parent 2 is homozygous recessive for the gene A. What does it mean? That means that F1 generation for the gene A is going to be heterozygous 100%. No any other variants because parent 1 only can give to the progeny dominant allele and parent 2 only can give recessive allele. So only dominant and recessive allele possible combination in F1 generation for the gene A. Let's take a look. Uh, for the gene B, parent 1 is heterozygous and parent 2 is homozygous dominant. That means that uh, for example, genotypes can be as follows. Parent 1 can give to the uh, F1 generation dominant allele. Parent 2 only can give dominant allele. So let's put capital B, capital B here. But also, as you see, parent 1 is heterozygous. That uh, means that parent uh, one also can give recessive allele and parent two only can give uh, dominant allele. So now we have two variants. Again, take a look. Parent one can give dominant allele or recessive, but parent two only can give dominant allele. So that's why we have two variants uh, for the genotype of the F1 generation for the gene B. Now let's analyze what we have for the gene E. Parent 1 is heterozygous, parent 2 is also heterozygous. That means that uh, here different variants are possible. And for example, uh, parent 1 can give dominant allele and parent 2 also can give uh, dominant allele. So it is possible that um, progeny can be uh, capital E, capital E, but also parent 1 can give dominant allele and parent 2 can give recessive allele. Another variant is when parent 1 can give recessive allele and parent 2 also can give recessive allele. And we also have include such possibility here. So three variants also possible. Capital E, capital E, capital E, small e, and small e, small e. Now let's analyze what we have for the next gene. And this is gene F. So parent one can only give dominant allele and parent 2 can give two variants, dominant and recessive. 
So now we have two variants here, two variants here, two variants here, and again two variants here, here, and here. And variants would be as follows. So it can be capital F and capital F and capital F and small f. So now you see a number of combinations in the progeny increased. So again here we have two variants whether it is homozygous dominant or heterozygous homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Now let's analyze next um, allelic pair, next gene. This is gene G and parent one is homozygous recessive and uh, parent two is heterozygous. So again, two variants are possible. So two variants here, two variants here, 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 and two variants here, two variants here, two variants here, two variants here, two variants here. And this is not the end of our list. Two variants here and two variants here. I'm not going to write down all the possible combinations, but uh, take a look. Uh, parent one is homozygous recessive, parent two is heterozygous. So two variants possible where the progeny is going to be for this gene uh, heterozygous, so capital G, small g, or homozygous recessive. So capital G, small g, or small g, small g. I don't have much uh, more space left, but as for the last um, allelic pair, we see that uh, parent one is homozygous dominant and parent two is homozygous recessive. That means that uh, this doesn't increase number of combinations and each uh, genotype is going to be heterozygous for this gene. Capital H and small h. So this is every genotype would be heterozygous again. I'm not going to add this genotype, uh, this uh, allelic pair to each genotype. You understand that it doesn't increase number of combinations. So now we can calculate how many different combinations we have here. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, and twenty-four. So 24 uh, different combinations, uh, these two genotypes uh, of the parents can create in their progeny. Again, I just didn't uh, list all the uh, possible combinations because it's going to be too elaborate, but we know number of combinations and we know the principle how to use fork line method in order to find all possible combinations. And each combination is going to be unique. 
And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.